This first step is going to be so hard to put together. Hmm. Oh, that had to be a four, not a three. Oh. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. have a single one in there. And another single one. Not just messed it up, but we're fine. by six goes next to that.
get back in line. Said mix up the whole thing again. Single three and a single four. Two fours 
up last night when I was on my meds, when I was tired. It's tricky on this one. And two two by threes. good so far. And he faces into and then two more else. Back again because that was easier. Mm -hmm. 
how you going? Yeah, I've got a few on Instagram, but I don't like going on Instagram. I avoid it for days at a time. I put a story up this morning, like a photo, but it gives me anxiety. It's so competitive and catty. Everyone's comparing themselves to each other. Here I can just chill and talk to people. Exactly. I was a bit of a selfie queen back in the day. That's how I got the followers. But I'm not overly like proud of it. Like I don't really care about Instagram. It makes me feel shit. So I'd rather have that many on YouTube. That would be good. But I've only got like 720-ish on YouTube. But we'll get there, maybe. Yeah, it really is a depressant. I don't even go on Facebook much either. Oh, I broke it. Oh. Did that just go there? That looks about right. Yeah. And same on the other side. I just don't want to break it again. Yeah, I bet it does. <laughs> Feels good, man. Having no social media. I still keep it to like post stuff on, but I don't really check it. So I just must look like a snob on there. <laughs> I don't check any of my notifications. Hey, Nick or Niche, 44. Just chatting to Death Adder. You just want to create one? That's how I started too. Hey Wolf, how you do? My friend. Just one. Okay, that's cool. I started off with just one too and now look at me. It's a little addictive. But not everybody goes as hard out with me as me. As, <laughs> as I do with tattoos words can you create I don't really like I I'm not really working at the moment when it comes to tattoos and I don't really do um, like if you were coming to me for a tattoo I would but um, when I was back at work obviously but I don't really do commissions for other artists because a lot of artists don't like doing other artists work I need four of these bad boys. But like if you can draw or whatever, you can always like draw your own stuff and take it to a tattoo artist and they'll probably have their own take on it and you know, go from there. Almost, I haven't done my back. Um, I still gotta do my back and like some of the top of my legs at the back. But aside from that, I'm pretty covered. What are you up to, by the way, Wolf? You gaming? Okay, two two by fours. Yes. See, it's not finished. I've got like the cover up of the wings done, and goes down to there, and then I've got up to there done. <laughs> I can't be bothered to stand up. Oh yeah, what are you playing? You know, dragon and a lion on your back. That's sick. Mm, that would be cool, Dragon Ball tattoos. 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Playing with hearts. I get I get that joke. Always. Ah. You're a little heartbreaker. Well, not little. <laughs> exactly. I always like I I'm like scared usually like I'm like to get involved with people for that reason like I'll just break your heart but really every relationship I've been in I haven't been the one that's like done the bad stuff if you know what I mean I've never like cheated I've always been cheated on but I picked some pretty bad I mean yeah it's possible um I picked some pretty bad relationships but yeah, it is, it is possible to um, be tattooed on your privates. Not every tattoo will still do it, like I, I wouldn't. But yeah, I know plenty of tattooists that have. Hey, piggy moo. Especially with my last relationship, he was all ego. What did I call him yesterday? Um, uh, master, master manipulator narcissist. And that's exactly, yeah, tough guy persona. And like, even if it was something that you wouldn't think, like, okay, he had to be top dog with everything, right? Even when I started doing TikToks, like cosplay TikToks and stuff like that, um, one of the TikToks that I got like 175,000 views or something ridiculous, he decided to start doing them and competing with me. He was like, he full had to have, he had to be dominant in everything. But I can't stand it either. And now I'm just so glad I'm away from it. And that's almost ruined tattooing for me because I worked with him for so long in the tattoo shop that it was just all ego driven but I don't think it'll be like that up here. Thanks. Interesting, yeah. Very interesting. He was, I mean, he still is, but I'm away from him now. I moved states. I moved back to live and be closer with my family. I'm in Queensland now and he's like, not just one state away, but he's down in Victoria, which is like, it goes Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, um, and then Victoria. So I think I've got enough space in between me and him now. I'm hoping. He definitely was the best at being a tool. <laughs> Just like he wanted to be the best at everything. But wouldn't put in like proper work or ethic or passion or anything. Yeah, yeah, Australia. Can't you tell by my accent? People expect us all to be like, oh yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah. But sometimes I do that. <laughs> I actually have this weird, like, thing that, like, I don't know if I will ever be involved with someone ever again, but I think I know who my soulmate is or was, but I knew them when I was a kid. And um, they're not exactly in this world anymore but um, that helps me kind of focus on myself now we do call uh, do you call them shrimps aren't shrimps a whole different animal to prawns but yeah we have prawns at Christmas we don't we definitely don't say put another shrimp on the Barbie But shrimps, yeah, no, we call shrimps shrimps and prawns prawns. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right, Wolf. Prawns are like, yeah, no, Wolf's right. Prawns are like this big, and shrimps are like this big. Because you can still get like garlic shrimp or garlic prawns, and they're different when you go to the pub and get a pub meal. Feed. Good pub feed. 
Have you heard that Aussie song that's like, all I want, all I need is a good pub feed? Or something like that. <laughs> Definitely something. We probably say a lot of other weird stuff though. Like, hmm. I'm trying to think of what weird stuff we do say. Oh, we drop the sea bomb a lot, but it's not always bad. It can be endearing. I can eat two of these. And that goes, so the second one lines up with his yeah. Oh, this I mean, I think a lot of us don't have filters. So, like, I don't have a very good filter when it comes to, like, talking to people. But that's because I'm, like, kind of socially awkward and I'm not very good at small talk. So when I find myself in those situations... I know what you mean, Wolf, hey. It's almost like... When, like, yeah, when you find yourself, everything just falls together. Hey, Seven. Small talk does blow. I can't, can't be fucked with that shit. Um, I mean, I'm always polite, though. And I have had to um, practice a bit of small talk when, like, in the hospital here. With other patients and stuff. Haha, <laughs> those emotes. He's seven, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's step one. Hey, friends. <laughs> my parents wonder why I don't want to leave my room half the time. I'm like, this is where the party's at. Check out my Australian brand iced coffee. That's like a Queensland company too, so it's not just Australian, it's like Queensland dairy farmers. Mmm, Australia. <laughs> it actually tastes like, um, do you have dare iced coffees over there? Thank you. This one? It's probably one of my favorites too. Mmm, coffee. It does kind of taste like, um, Queensland, what's that? It's the state that I'm in, E7. It's, um, part of Australia. Yeah. I like it. I actually wanted, like, a henna tattoo, but I'm glad I went with the butterfly, because the even the dots, like, yeah. I did some of those dots myself, too. Haha, <laughs> you getting yourself a nice coffee? <laughs> Hey. But yeah, Queensland is in Australia. Oh, <laughs> you're too nice. That means it's my land. Oh, there's a video of that. <laughs> but yeah, it tastes kind of like, like it's not very strong. Tastes kind of like caramel, but with a tiny bit of chocolate. I mean, tiny bit of coffee. <laughs> Most days. Um... Oh, you found the dick fish. <laughs> How good is it? That's one of my favorite tattoos. <laughs> um, it's There is a guy here. He's actually... Well, not in Queensland, he's in Victoria, where I was living, Melbourne. He specialises in dickfish. Like, that's... He does other tattoos as well, but his specialty at the expos is, like, all these different kinds of fish. Like, mine's like a like a little guppy, but, it, like, you saw it. It's got all pastel colours through it, and it's got, like, a tiny bit of pre <laughs> It's dribbling. But he's done... Like, his classic one is... Um, 
clownfish. If you follow the, I think I tagged him in that picture if you want to go to his profile and see more of his work because it's mostly all different dick fish. Some of them are like, like vagina ones, but most of them are, yeah, all different types of fish that have their head as a little penis head. And they're oddly cute, like, and they're like, hey, that's cool. Not everybody has to like fish. I don't have fish or like in, as pets or anything, but I do want to get um, an axolotl. But I just don't think I can afford it until I'm working again. I sympathize with ants until they bite me. That you'd be surprised how many people um, around Australia have dick fish tattoos. <laughs> this guy's really good at his job. Um, but a lot of people are like that E7 too. Because, like, there's pescatarians that only eat fish, but they, like, don't want to, like, eat any other animals. So I assume they're like you and don't sympathise with fish. <laughs> I saw a snail this morning because I woke up at like 5am and couldn't get back to sleep so I went out for a city and um, there was a snail and he was leaving like a full shiny little snail trail behind him. I've never had plain sardines I don't think. I've had them on a pizza. This one's tricky. I'm just going to do... All the other stuff and then there's two little green bits that I don't know where they're trying to get me to put them. Oh, in the bulb. Oh well, we'll do it, it will work from the front back. Everything does and if like everything has energy too like and what I found as it, this was actually before I was going through my psychosis, I was going through my breakup. Everything that could possibly break that I could figure out that had bought, like my ex had bought me with ill intentions, broke. Even, even my phone, because it was like somebody was telling me to get off my phone. I broke three phones. One went in the toilet, and then one got smashed, and then the other one was in a puddle. That's, that's a good idea because, you know, like, I don't use Tinder, but I've got it, like, there. So people, if they see me around, it just has my Instagram. But I never, like, I never accept anyone on it because I don't want to talk to people. People make me nervous. And I'm pretty happy being me. Mountains do have a lot of energy and spirit. Mm. Especially certain mountains. Like, it depends on the mountain. But some, like, will have more spiritual energy than others, for sure. That was one of my big walks that I went on. I had, like, I didn't have to, but I decided I wanted to climb my own. At first, I was just, like, walking to get away from my problems. And then I walked up this massive mountain. Three sub I ended up three suburbs away from where I started. I think it was like 25 kilometers. Someone looked it up last time. I just parted. <laughs> oh, I knew that was going to happen on camera at some point. <laughs> so this guy's. At least I'm honest. <laughs> I burp all the time on camera and I was just like, last night I was like, I wonder when I'm gonna fart on camera. Mystery solved. <laughs> the hospital's got me on all kinds of extra food that I usually wouldn't, you know, I'd be eating smaller. But I did have custard with my lunch today. 
Actually, I've been having custard with every meal because they have it as an option, so why wouldn't you? That's cool, A7. Oh, good luck studying. I hope you kill it. I'm sure you will. Bye. See you next time. Yeah, you got this. Many well wishes for the exam. two by sixes. Mm, yep. Oh. Now these go here. Yeah, and same on that side. We need two little green ones. Dark green. get my other phone to check the time because mum and dad are coming in at about 3 30 and I'll have a chill with them and then I'll get back on later like always oh, I got a while I'm gonna duck out for a ciggy before they get hit too also I made we had art today art therapy I made a spirit board. Oh, <laughs> I love that emote. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So that was fun. I'm glad I did art therapy today because I didn't go yesterday. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, uh, juju, juju. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you could say that. As I said, I'm pretty sure my soulmate passed away. So, um, yeah, I've had contact with him before since he passed away. And also, my grandma and my auntie have both. I've contacted them both. Um, you have to be careful, obviously. Um, but also, some people are just, you'd say, naturals at it or more prone to it, and it can just happen to them anyway. And that's how it started happening to me. So, yeah, heaps of ghost shit. I was doing it and like, there's a few like elderly people in our groups and I swear they were looking at me like, blasphemy! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So he came to you and comforted you in the dream? Because that's the easiest way that they can contact, make contact, I think. Yeah. So he showed you that he's doing well and he's happy surfing the universe out there somewhere. Oh, did I put that in the wrong place? Yeah, I did. Damn it. Yeah, either him or like, yeah, God, the higher energies. Oh, I caught it. Wanted to ease your mind.
percent. But I think um, I, I don't think that they can judge you for it it's just if they can see you, because <laughs> yeah, I've contacted my relatives. Not while I've been watching hentai, but I'm sure they would have seen some of it. <laughs> most of, most people, it's only if they really leave the door open that you can contact them. And um, most like spiritual energies kind of pass on, so they wouldn't be sitting there watching you judging. <laughs> But I used to think that about my grandma too, and that was before I'd contacted her. I'd be like, oh fuck, I hope she's not watching me smoking weed. <laughs> but that, like whatever your path is, like they can't really intercept. Exactly. Yeah, I had no choice about opening the door. I had energies pulling me out of a certain situation which was to do with my ex as well. And then from there, I moved into a room, not just a house, but a room of another chick who dealt, like, witch, who, like, she, she isn't a positive witch, so I think she does actually more witchcraft, like, negative stuff. So I was sleeping in her room with all of her crystals and a lot of negative energy that kind of clung onto me. And then um, I got myself out of the, that situation, but it's almost like anybody that was connected to me was messaging me at that time and almost just knew that I was in a volatile place. And then, yeah, the positive energy started coming out. <sighs> um, <laughs> I don't think you get hungry, no. <laughs> we were, yeah. We worry too much. The best thing to do is um, be present in the moment. That's the most spiritual thing you can do, I think. And the present moment is only three to five, three to seven seconds long. So no more than this step in Lego. <laughs> Great time to go on a diet. <laughs> I love how existential our conversations get. Is it my fault? Oh, it's because I made a spirit board today. <laughs> I'm not mad. We're an existential bunch in this little chat room. Does that go there? Yes. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, that sounds really morbid, but I'm pretty sure it feels awesome. Apart from like, if you're like in an accident and have to deal with like life pain before you pass. Pretty, pretty sure though. But I'm not gonna, I'm not condoning <laughs> anything. Yeah, I've had weird con conversations though with entities. And from what I believe or expect, or they told me at the time, it feels really good. Like being on drugs. But I'm not condoning it <laughs> because I'm in a mental ward, so don't listen to me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Got a doctor's note. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, from what, the, like, the conversations that I had, it's like being on, like, ecstasy. Forever. But everybody believes different things. Yeah, like, when you meditate, do you get that really, like... Like, you almost breathe in that, uh, like, feeling, like, because I, I do, after all that, 
like even before all of that in the lead up to it all meditating and yoga um give me like this weird high like spiritual high like it's calm and at peace and everything too but yeah yeah it's slightly different sometimes it's like oddly sexual <laughs> and other times it's just like really relaxing it's weird spiritualism <laughs> it's a good time But yeah, it's always different. Almost always different. Sometimes it's similar to like the time before. But usually different days, different feelings. Get in there. I think that um, there's a lot of theories that backs that up, hey wolf. Like, um, there's so much that's been hidden when it comes to like female power. So we don't really know. Yeah. And I think that um, a lot of it's got to do with like that kind of stuff, like witchcraft, like why else would they have hunted witches because they're so powerful at their craft and men were threatened felt threatened and less powerful so back then in the old days that would be really bad for them and they would not like to admit it so they'd call them witches and hunt them But it doesn't mean that men can't be as strong, you know? It's just more like naturally, we might find it slightly easier, but. Mm hmm. Exactly. That's kind of my assumption, too. Um, I'm like listening to an audiobook about the divine feminine at the moment. It's called The Woman with the Alabaster Jar. And it's like, it touches on that stuff, you know? Like, it, it's very dry. There's a lot of, like, Christianity talk in it, but um, the chick that wrote it is a Christian. So, like, but she debunks some of the myths, but also backs up others. So it's like, remember, this is written by a human. And other people say it's the greatest book of magic ever written. I've even had that. Like a red-headed woman, specifically. Yeah, and like I've been making, like I've been working on my dreams, so journaling and trying to lucid dream. So um, working on my dream memory and then my control of it but yeah there was always like this red-headed chick in my dreams that would like mm. she was very sexual but yeah and then I'd just wake up and be all confused <laughs> wow that's cool I mean depending on how it went <laughs> but yeah Hoping to control them more and more so that way I don't have like rough dreams. Hey, white boy Leroy. Thank you. White, white boy troll. <laughs> Entire world shaking and going. Oh, of course it is. I wasn't going to click it anyway. <laughs> At the very most, I would have checked if it went into my PayPal later. <laughs> Seebs now, you troll. Um, that is intense that the whole world started shaking. Maybe somebody woke you up from it to make sure you didn't get, like, you know, scarred by it. 
or something. Mm. Now, these go here. Yes. Yes. Did I complete that other step? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, and I don't answer to you. Yeah. You have a strong subconscious. I have like an energy that wakes me up. If like my dreams get too bad, which I'm pretty sure that's why I woke up this morning so early because I was tired as, but I couldn't get back to sleep. Hey, what up? His feet are cute. Wait, does that go there? Yeah. Yes. It's almost like, looks like a Junji Ito kind of design. It's a Kill Star shirt. Thank you. One of my many t shirts. I have a pretty good collection of t shirts. start from the bits that have the arrows so I'm not putting them in the wrong spots. So two, four two by fours. Two, three, four. This Bulbasaur is also going to look dope. It's a way bigger Bulbasaur than the last one I did. That detail. And it's the right colours. <laughs> Old bot. I want to name the bot that Sky made. Then I can say hey to it whenever it automatically posts something. Um, this will work forward. So we got. I need four of these. One, two, three, four. And they go in. Why not miss him? Oh, yep. And again. for a ciggy and then my parents are coming to visit but I'll be back on at the normal time that I usually stream which is like 6ish 5.36 Australian time I don't know what time it's been for you guys yeah but that's when I usually jump on and then I'll smash out heaps of this guy today yeah nice you usually stay up most of the night though, don't you? But if you're tired, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, potentially might be getting out next week. We'll see how it goes on Friday when I go home and like fix my room and stuff, make it all legit yeah oh 
are you? Are you going to do some magic? Or are you just going to go out and enjoy it? <laughs> you never know. I always try and charge my crystals on a full moon, but I don't think it's a full moon yet because last night it was still waning. Oh, that's the wrong one! No! Oh, I put it on way too good too. Threes, not fours. Mm. Oh, really? That's interesting. I mean, a lot of people do act weird on full moons. I find it more peaceful, but yeah, I bet. Was she somehow like synced with the moon with like her? menstrual cycle or something because that can happen hmm. <laughs> weird <clears throat> two single four Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. There's always something about the trauma going hand in hand with weird spiritual stuff. So I get that. I wonder if it was the other day I was streaming and I was like, a dude from Canada was watching and I was like, hey, do you know my friend Wolf? <laughs> Thinking it would be a joke. Like being like I'm joking you wouldn't know you probably don't know everybody in Canada and then he's like yeah he dated my sister and I was like oh okay but I can't remember his name his like tag or anything it was definitely someone <laughs> but he did know you maybe I thought it was kind of like wow <laughs> but then he left so maybe he did know you, maybe you got awkward because I'm your friend, if it, if it was someone. But, mysteries. <laughs> I hope I didn't know me. <laughs> I don't know me. <laughs> I knew what you mean though. <laughs> he probably didn't. He was probably just like pulling my leg because I'm from Australia and I asked a silly question. <laughs> eh. Eh. Well, maybe you're like, I don't know, maybe you're famous and I didn't even know. a celebrity friend. <laughs> Not jokes, I don't care about any of that stuff. Yeah, like, hmm, it would be nice to have people listen to my music, but I don't know if it'd be worth it, you know? All of that. I'd rather just chill and do nano blocks all day, every day, until my parents kick me out again. <laughs> They said they wouldn't ever kick me out. So I'll hold them to that. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's just like, yeah, love, as you were saying. Like, I'm not worried about what happens. I don't, like, see the, like, 
like a lot of people are like oh I want to be this I want to be that I'm like whatever is gonna happen especially after the last year or two that I've had it's gonna happen you know like whatever is meant to happen is gonna happen and you can't fight it because it'll just repeat you know I don't know if you've experienced that kind of stuff but you try and fight the thing that you're meant to be doing it's just gonna come back again in a year or two and then you'll end up doing it Whoa. Literally. And then it'll come back around in a full circle and you'll end up doing the thing anyway. Oh, I'm up to his little toenails now, I think. What's the time? Okay. I might do the end of this step. I've got two steps in this step, if that makes sense. Yeah, same. Like, it's so weird. I thought I had to move to Melbourne to do music because there wasn't many musicians up here, but now I've moved back where I'm supposed to be and I'm making music anyway by myself and I'm happier than having to deal with other people. Hmm. I need some white ones here. Oh, this is a tricky step. It's fun. Yeah. It's weird how it's like, doesn't matter what happens, you'll end up where you're supposed to be, I think. These are cute. <laughs> and same on the other foot. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. oh, I still need another white one. That's cool, that's cool. So weird. Life is a weird thing. Check out these little toes. Um, I, I don't mind his music. I think as a person, from what I've seen, he seems like a bit of a pretentious dickhead. But like some of his music is okay. But yeah, I think he's um, a bit full of himself to be honest. Yeah, like, I, I used to like his old stuff before he got really, you know, before he got really big. But, yeah. Yeah, the earlier stuff was better because he wasn't so... I think he was still ego-filled, but... He had something to prove, I guess, and now he just thinks he's top shit. And that comes out in a lot of his music. Ex's best friend. Um, I can't remember which one that is, but that's recently, isn't it? My ex's best friend. Like one of his pop punk ones. Um, I haven't, is that like a newer track? Oh, hey. Slow Mo Nickelback. I'll have to check it out. Zeus. I heard Godzilla when that came out. And I was like, oh, Eminem dyed his hair. He looks like he's rocking a bit of a dad bod. Not that he wasn't a dad before, but. Yeah. 
noise. This is weird. Oh, that must be his little hand claws. Well, I just lost track of what was going on there. Ah. Same. Troll? <laughs> Question mark? I thought we were going to have a good conversation there <laughs> for a second. I mean, not to, but yeah. <sighs> I'm glad that didn't trigger me. <laughs> but I'm not easily triggered online for some reason. I guess because I know it's online. But I did get triggered the other day. And the topics aren't too far different to what that guy just said. But this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. I've been working through my childhood drama. <laughs> yeah, I am actually making heaps of progress, I think. And like, that's saying something because like two weeks ago, I couldn't even talk about whether I had made any progress or not, you know? So, talking about the progress is progress. Oh, I need threes, not twos. Mm, yep, that goes there. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna open up about my trauma. That's a bit rough. That would be really, like, kind of rude to expect that. Exactly. Wolf is 100% right. Like if you thrive off those kind of energies, you're going to get trapped and things are not going to be good for you. Very smart response. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. On this side, that's right. On the other side, it's wrong. I mean, look, I was going to say we've all been there, but I haven't. <laughs> so scratch that. Um, but I know a lot of people that have. And there's a lot better things to be doing with your time, I think, you know whether it be actually focusing even on just playing a game properly rather than making everybody mad. Yeah, that's better. But it's not our problem because, like, Wolf's 100% right. Like, if like, there's energy in everything you do and say. And, um... The more you perpetuate, the more you surround yourself in those kind of energies. Times three. Just for science, I can share the route. Is that what you use? And then you do it silly. Um, yeah, but that's really like a bit of a dick move. You spread love IRL, but then behind the computer screen where nobody can see you, you spread hate. That's pussy. 
<laughs> Pussy as fuck. If you're going to spread hate anywhere, that's where it'll come back to you in um, real life. Yeah, we don't really care. We, like, when you first logged on, I thought you were going to, like, have a good conversation to us about your culture, like everybody else has on here, and shared something. But you've just made a fool of yourself, really, in front of us and the other people that are going to watch this later. Maybe we are going to be... <laughs> that's not that that's not a bad trope that's that's adorable and kind of funny like I wouldn't be mad at somebody that commented that on my channel see Diggler's still so cool oh I don't think you can start a good conversation you haven't proven yourself to <laughs> you've proven quite the opposite yeah same we were all teenagers once it's fine we don't, yeah, we don't hold on to those kind of energies. But, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that, hey, I'm 31, I'm older than you. <laughs> oh, wow, you're, you're younger than me and you're doing this kind of shit. Oh, I feel really sorry for you. <sighs> He's still got a chance, yeah. It's sad though because I really like um, enjoy talking about different religions and I've had a few conversations about um, like Jewish culture and you've just kind of come here and yeah disappointed. It sucks. Could have had a nice intellectual conversation. <laughs> ah. Here's a conversation. What, trolling people? <laughs> the world is a crazy place, isn't it? Okay, I need a four. Oh well. I'm sure sometime in the future somebody will come on and have good conversations apart from our like dream team that we've already got going on which we don't really need anyone else to join we got Diggler, Wolf, E7, Chungju sometimes um, oh uh, Witch Witches they're like a handful of the faves of the dream team. Not Shlomo. <laughs> he is not part of the dream team. He's a 30 year old troll. Shouldn't you be at work? I have an excuse, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's quarter past three. So I've got to finish this little step and then go out for a ciggy before my mum comes in to visit because she's adorable. I had a big step yesterday. Um, by the way, Wolf, I ended up telling my mum about my childhood trauma, which was huge because like most traumas, it came from someone in my family. So it wasn't my immediate family, but it was my extended family. And um, yeah, she received it with heaps of support and love. And yeah, I think that's also why I'm feeling better today. And like this guy, I can't really. Who are you calling young? I'm older than you. Why do so many young people? I'm 31. You said you're 30. Not trying to poke at you talking about dyed hair, tattoos, etc. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
That's awesome. I kind of want to write it down in my book of shadows. <laughs> uh, yeah, send me that as a whisper. I'm going to write it down. Because I like, like sharing stuff like that. I think it's cute. <sighs> I've always dressed like this since I was a teenager. And yeah, I do think some of it is a reaction to my drama. But also, it's how I want to be. Um, a part of me wanted to prove myself different for a while, but now it's just who I am. 100% trauma makes you different and changes you. But also, you can't call me a young person, I'm older than you. <laughs> just because I have a nice, like, youthful face and you've probably aged a lot quicker. But yeah, how do you feel, like... Well, I don't think you did move on from your trauma because you're obviously making jokes and trolling people about it. I'm not going to change who I am, no. I'm learning to be comfortable in my skin and... Yeah, I think that's the best thing. I think he is, yeah. <laughs> Maybe he realised he has been an idiot and embarrassed himself. And that, like, yeah. We actually have really good conversations in here. He's lucky I didn't delete him yet. Um, no, I think being comfortable who I am, with who I am, is helping me grow more than trying to change myself to conform. I think he does have like some weird opinions so hey wolf <sighs> I'll ban him ain't nobody got time for that hmm okay I need a three and a four if Sky was on here he would have like he would have banned him within like the minute, hey. I should um, make you a mod too, like as well, Wolf. I don't know how to do that, but we'll see if um, Sky can do it for me. That way, if he's not on during the day and you are. I mean, you were the one that was trolling about saying about, like, what were you saying? Like, that you got your cousin to touch you or something? Like, that in itself is trolling and triggering. It didn't trigger me, but it could trigger so many people here. And now you're trying to um, cover it up. <laughs> yeah. Seems like I'm um, a bit of a misogynist. I am embarrassed for him. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just guessing by the way you're talking down to me. Oh, I put that in the wrong place. Huh. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm doing a Bulbasaur. Um, yeah, thanks, Wolf. Trying to suggest that I grow up. It's calling me a young person. I'm, like, calling me out for the way I look. And then trying to act all innocent. We're not stupid. We are actually, like, pretty switched on in this group. I still put them in the wrong spot, though. Well, you didn't do a very good job if you weren't trying to troll. 
if I had the energy, I would go back and screenshot all the offensive things that you've said. But nobody can be bothered going back and having to read that again. Hey, Brett. How you doing? I'm about to jump off, but I'll be back online in a few hours. Oh yeah, we got a troll. It's the VOD. <laughs> okay, this is my last step for now. I'll be back on in, in what's the time? Two and a half hours, roughly. Yeah, I'm probably going to delete this guy before I jump back on too. <laughs> but that's a good idea. Um, does it, the chat comes up? Okay, I'll, I'll trust you, Wolf. We'll give him one more chance. One more chance because everybody gets a second chance. Maybe not everybody. <laughs> but yeah. We will. The chat doesn't come up though, hey, because I don't want that comment that he said at first. Oh, no. no, it doesn't. Anyway, I'm going to go have my ciggy and I'll see you guys in a few hours. Probably two, two and a half. As soon as I've had my dinner. Yeah, 100% if he is um, able to show it and like if he's able to chill out and have a good conversation with us, we'll let it slide. Evil Siggy. <laughs> you and Sky are on the same team with that. <laughs> same to you. Much love. Sending all the positive energies your way, Wolf and Brett and all the other Dream Team members. <laughs> Bye.